Good afternoon, my name is Brian Mackey. I'm Senior Product Manager for SolarWinds RMM. Uh, here we are in Edinburgh, late afternoon. Light is starting to fade a little. We're actually at the uh, 56th parallel north. So uh, that puts us a little above the USA-Canadian border to give you a little reference there when you head out west at least. So a little further up than you might suppose, but let's get on with it because uh, yeah, the light is going and I'm getting a little chilly here. We've got improvements to patch management, both for the management workflow for you to deploy patches and also to the patch management engine itself. We have updates to Mac with an improved uh, Mac OS agent. We have enhancements to PSA. We have a new RC agent for Windows. We've got improvements also to the daily safety checks and Windows performance monitoring checks. And last but never least, uh, an improved um, or an upgrade to the backup manager so that we're running on the latest version. So let me run through all these in turn and give you a bit more info. So for patch management, we're busy enhancing the patch management workflow dialog. We've put in a filter for seeing which patches belong to servers and which belong to workstations. There's a new client filter. We're making it clear which devices don't yet have a particular patch and also what the status is of the uh, patch that you're deploying to selected clients and sites and devices. We're looking to retire the original approval policy for patch management uh, in the not too distant future. So send us any feedback you have on the new management workflow enhancements, if there's anything else that you would really like to see in there so that we can keep making this feature uh, better for you. The next update I'd like to brief you on is the enhancements for Mac monitoring. So we released a new agent 3.4.0 and this uh, handles the Mac OS security posture uh, in a real nice, excellent way. It basically takes the need away from end users to approve various uh, settings and installations. For example, when you install Take Control or Managed Antivirus, and the new Mac agent does this all automatically for you on the latest Mac OS versions, such as Mojave and Catalina. So much more managed servers or behind the scenes servers instead of your end users being prompted uh, for all these permissions. So please test the new 3.4.0 uh, RC agent uh, on your on your test machines. Give us any feedback. We're very excited about this update. It's a major upgrade for us, and we really think that you will have a lot of benefit uh, in terms of the service you offer to your customers. I want to give you an update on an improved uh, set of performance monitoring checks. So we've uh, changed the out of the box thresholds to be basically a more sensible set of thresholds, so they're less likely to. Uh, fill that performance monitoring check unnecessarily. This is just on new checks that you install. We've not touched any existing thresholds that you might have set. We've also updated the out of the box runtime for daily safety checks on workstations so that they now run at 10 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. for new checks that you add. And it just means fewer check failures because it's not trying to run the checks the moment a customer boots up their laptop when they come in in the morning first thing and it was getting a little conflicted uh, around running the checks and reporting the checks back up. So two updates there that are really designed to help take a little bit of the unnecessary check failures and alerts out of RMM. We've updated our PSA integration with ConnectWise and Autotask so that it handles concatenated site and device names better. So if you're using those integrations, uh, a real nice improvement there for you. We also upgraded uh, backup manager so that it now runs in version 19.12 that's the latest version with a whole slew of performance updates and bug fixes and i'll refer you to the status blog for all the details there we've also released a new rc agent for windows 10.9.9 so please give that a test on your environments and we're looking to make that our new ga agents in the near future so that's it, that's our roundup for January, a whole set of releases that we really hope you're able to take advantage of. We very much look forward to updating you again in a few weeks time for our February updates. Thank you very much.